I mean, you know, like my life, my entire life is here, you know, like everyone that I love, you know, like all my friends, you know, everything that I've built up has been here and not, none of it in Korea. My name is Tony Choi. I am 28 years old. I am a gay DACA recipient. I live in the New York metropolitan area and I am the social media manager for 18millionrising.org. So I became a DACA recipient um, late 2012. It was breathtaking, you know, for the first time in my life I had something that I never thought that I'd be able to have. And because of that, I was able to build a career out of myself. We knew that Trump was going to rescind it because this was one of his campaign promises. There was this giant financial crisis that hit East Asia um, in the late 90s. So in January of 1998, my family moved from uh, Seoul, Korea to Hawaii. And we eventually ended up moving to New Jersey. I tried to convince myself that I was straight the entire time uh, growing up. I thought, you know, that wasn't, you know, like a possibility for me to live openly as a, a gay man. Growing up, I felt like I was living in two closets. To people that I felt safe I was come out as queer, I couldn't come out to them about my immigration status. But to people that I felt safe about my immigration status, I couldn't come out to them about my queerness. So it's like being in those two closets really makes you feel how lonely and isolated you are. And I really want to tell the allies that this is their moment to step up. This is their moment to really, you know, just, just you know, like embody what it what it means to be intersectional in our activisms.